Mumbai. I got everything here. Dreams, ambition, home. I grew and the city grew. Seven islands became one. I needed more. I cut mangroves, trees and every patch of land possible. Along came roads, bridges, factories and globalization. I wanted more. I reclaimed the sea and water bodies and maidans and even the skies. This is how I flood my city. Rising sea levels, unplanned reclamation and an inadequate drainage system clogged with mismanaged solid waste. A drowning of the dream city every monsoon. पानी का हमेशा परेशानी रहता है इतना 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 पानी घर में घुसता है दो बार तीन बार एक बार नहीं दो बार तीन बार लास्ट बार इसमें भी पानी बूटता है पानी यहाँ तक आता है और नुकसान दस से पंद्रह हजार का नुकसान होता है और रहने की तकलीफ भी हो जाती है फ्रिज में हम पानी कबाट में पानी ऐसा पूरे कपड़े मेरा बहुत बच्चे लोग तो मेरा एक भी बस्ता और किताब बुक कुछ भी बचा नहीं था कितना जल्दी हटाएंगे अचानक में रात को पानी घुस गया डेढ़ बजे रात में सोए थे सब बच्चे ये सर्व पत्रे पित्रे सर्वे उड़े जाता खाल से हाँ मिनसवाटे वगैरह ये वड़ा का बगत नहीं दिस वॉली प्रोजेक्ट द सीलिंग प्रोजेक्ट केम एंड द सी स्टार्ट गेटिंग रफर एंड रफर देर वुड बी एन एक्सपैंस ऑफ द सैंड एंड द बीच देर वुड बी क्रैब्स ऑल्सो ओवर हियर बट एट दिस पॉइंट आई थिंक इज ओनली प्लास्टिक आई डोंट थिंक यू इवन हैव फिश ओवर हियर फॉर गेट क्रैब्स इट्स नॉट जस्ट मुंबई बट चेन्नई कोची वाइजैक एंड मेनी मोर Who did this? Is it climate change, or is it we who need to change? We worry about rising sea levels of 2050, but why did Mumbai flood in July 2005? Is it a preview of a time to come, when the high tide met the cloud burst, tidal push met the choked river, the perfect recipe for the flood of the century? It brought Mumbai to a standstill and took over 1,000 lives. The 2005 के flood के बाद जितने commissions के जितने भी recommendations थे about the plastic, about the debt free, about the river line, or about uh, rehabilitations of surrounding low lying areas, या दूसरी uh, river के जो connectivity की जहाँ से disconnect उसके ऊपर काम नहीं किया गया काम पूरा सब एक ही डायरेक्शन में हुआ कॉन्क्रीटाइजेशन ऑफ रिवर तो रिवर के दोनों साइड पे हजारों करोड़ रुपए खर्चा करके जो वॉल बनाएंगे कई जगह पे रिवर के बेस में भी बनाएंगे जिसके कारण जो फ्लड बढ़ना चालू हुआ है क्योंकि जो कैचमेंट एरिया में पानी गिर रहा है वो रिवर की कॉन्क्रीट वॉल ही उसको अंदर आने को रोक फिलहाल हमारे को प्रॉब्लम इस दीवार से ये दीवार यहाँ पे वो आदि है वहाँ पे जो जाने वाला पानी है वो उस तरफ जा रहा नहीं वो हमारे घरों की तरफ इधर घूम रहा है कम से कम 50 से लेके 60 घर में इधर पानी घुस जाता है इस दीवार की वजह से We still blame flooded rivers, clogged drains, submerged homes, and no trains. Producing report after report, each saying respect the flood lines, the ecological flows, and stop human disruption. Yet the story remains the same, and the frequency of flooding increases every year. All the ecological hotspots in every city, city, city should be identified, should be uh, demarcated, and should be protected. Unless you do this, cities uh, will definitely get uh, flooded. Once the city expanded, people think that the water bodies are no more useful. 
urban planners think that uh, these water bodies have no use but these water bodies have got a lot of ecological functions these are the recharge structure these are the most important groundwater resource structures and these are also the flood water carriers and if you if you occupy if you are going to encroach this water will go elsewhere so therefore the city gets flooded the impact of the flood is going to go up from one year to another because the vulnerability is also going up and then begins the blame game we talk about inactive municipal corporations they talk about encroachment politicians step in for vote what we don't talk about is what is right actually concrete walls is not a it's a reaction it's not an action it is a poorly designed ill informed and shabbily executed approach there are alternatives to concrete walls and each segment of the river it, we need to understand that it has its own microclimate it has its own challenges and diversity it, there are alternatives to concrete walls there are geotextiles there are reinforcements as well as gabion systems what we forget is a wall stops natural flows of wet and dry instead we complain about floods and drought missing the bigger picture of natural links i believe an integrated approach will balance the engineering measures and our city's flood preparedness by understanding the flood hydrology and ecology of the natural landscape this will ensure absorption and restoration of water cycles leading to minimal loss of life livelihood creation and well-being There are so many examples of the river rejuvenation success stories not just in the cities across the world but in our tribal areas reinstating the physical well-being of people economies and most importantly the environment We have forgotten the laws we laid coastal regulatory zones red and blue non-development river flood lines so how can we bring these natural flows back to our cities With the coming of the tap, the equilibrium that existed between our human habitats and natural ecosystems was completely disrupted. What used to be our front yards became our back yards for dumping and for the sewage to flow. What we really need to see is a holistic approach where the technical works with the social, the environmental and the political, all together speaking a single language or a narrative for the health of the city. It's enterprise for the citizen all aligned together for change making to happen. but there is hope the holy city of nashik in maharashtra which took a stand for river godavari we brought the society together that is the intellectuals all the sections of the society and the administration that is the rulers we brought together and we uh, together did uh, the kumbh and dedicated the kumbh to the nature and we termed it as a green kumbh in one day uh, 40 50000 people entered all the uh, godavari river and its tributaries and cleaned it up and that way uh, that gave us very strong message then uh, the entire kumbh mela uh, in our nasik actually the kumbh mela lasts for one year so the uh, entire one year we uh, did the awareness campaigns and we were targeting basically on the generation next that is the students uh, were involved in all the activities sarvat moti godchuk nashik mahanagar palikini ashi gelili hoti ka do tondya maruti pasun te gadge marat pula parant river bed madle je kund hote te kundan madhe platform banlela hota rasta ani payra banlela hota ja vez pehila tappe madhe don kundatlo concretization kadne zalo to 5.5 lakh kilo एवढं डेबरेज म्हणजे याच्या सिमेंट कॉन्क्रीटचं डेबरेज हे कलेक्ट करण्यात आलं जस्ट मधला प्लॅटफॉर्म काढला जस्ट रिव्हर बेडचं बेसचं कॉन्क्रिटायझेशन काढायला सुरुवात केली सुरुवात केल्यानंतर आणि जसं तिथलं खालचं सिमेंट कॉन्क्रीटचं डेबरेज उचललं उचलल्या उचलल्या खालून जिवंत पाण्याचे स्रोत लागायला सुरुवात झाली नेचरल स्प्रिंग्स हे रिव्हर So we all need to ask ourselves how do we reclaim nature's floods and flows for a healthy and safe future let's come together for our city for our home for our rivers it is only then can we say i did not flood my city <laughs>